Hey there, thanks for joining me today. This is Laura Lynn with Keeping King Up. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! in San Antonio, Texas. And today I wanted to revisit a technique that I use um, with my Stamparatus, and that is the hinge step stamping technique. I have shared this technique in the past, but I think it's worth visiting, especially when um, stamp sets really kind of scream this technique. And I just recently got the biggest biggest wish stamp set that is new in our 2021-2022 annual catalog and these images worked perfectly with this particular technique so as soon as I had it I knew that I wanted to use this technique. So I wanted to share a card that I made using the technique. See how these um, these stamp images let's just line up perfectly using this technique and this makes a really fun birthday card. Isn't that a fun card? Um, uh, it, you'll notice these cute little birthday images as well. They are coming uh, in the future, next month. They are part of the Counting Sheep and the Sheep Dies that will be available next month during celebration. So you can earn the stamp set for a $50 order for free, or you can, get, you can choose the dies um, with another $50 order for free. So anyway, I just wanted to share that those were also used when making this card, but I want to share this technique of how I got these um, stacked uh, sentiment images. So I'll set that aside and we'll get going. So I'm gonna use my Stamparatus and I'm gonna flip open this piece here. And um, you'll notice I have my Deluxe foam mat. Uh, if you watch my videos, you know that I use this deluxe foam mat all the time, and it, but it is made specifically for the Stamparatus. So I'm gonna slide the, the, um, the foam mat into the corner of the Stamparatus, and then I'm going to, actually, I'll go ahead and start with my image. I'm gonna pick out the happy, and I'm gonna, what, uh, what is great about this deluxe foam mat is it has the grid right on it, so I'm gonna use the grid to line up my stamp image so it's in a row. And I apologize if I need to stick my head in here, but I think I think that that looks like it's lined up on the grid. So then I'll pick up the stamp. I'll make sure that my um, pad is in the corner again, and then I'll grab a piece of our basic white cardstock and I'll secure that down with my magnet and then I'm going to start inking up my image. And I'm gonna start with Pool Party ink for the first happy. So I'll ink this up and swing it over and stamp it down. Give it a bit of a rub to get that ink to transfer to the cardstock and I'll lift it up. And then I'm gonna put this back in there and I think that I'm going to, I'm gonna go ahead and ink it up again. That's one of the other beauties of having the Stamparatus is if you want, you can stamp it again. Make sure that everything is in the corner, exact right place. Then I'll stamp it down and it'll land directly on top of the previous one and it'll just darken up that image. Yeah, I think I like that better. Okay, so I'm gonna close up this ink pad. And next I'm gonna bring in Bermuda Bay, but first I need to do my hinge step part. So I'm gonna lift up my plate, move it down one hinge, then I can ink up the happy again in Bermuda Bay. And since this is a darker color than the previous and it's still blue, I don't, need to, I don't really need to clean my stamp. Swing this over and then I'll stamp it down, rub on it really well. And look how they're lined up perfectly on top of each other. Isn't that great? And there's just a little bit of a gap in there. I think, I think Stampin' Up! was very smart in that they um, created the sizing of these images to work perfectly with this hinge step um, technique. And I think that's dark enough, so I'm not gonna do another inking of that, although I could if I wanted to. Next, I will bring in a Misty Moonlight, which is a little bit darker blue. But again, I need to pick up my plate and move it down one more hinge notch. I'll ink up the happy in the misty moonlight. Swing this over, rub that down. So it transfers really well. And I think I might, I'm gonna ink that one up again. Ooh. 
Again, I can. That's the, one of the beauties of the Stamparatus. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to close that up. And now I'm going to go ahead and clean my stamp. You'll notice I had put my a stamp case that has my chamois in there underneath this um, plate, and that's just to give me a flatter surface to ink up nicely. Um, and I have a Simply Chamois that I've cut in half that I use when with my Stamparatus. It's just easier to handle with my hand if it's cut in half. But like I said, I like to put this underneath here so it's a more flat surface. I can peel up this image now, put that back in my case, and then I'm going to lift this up and put it back into place. And now I'm going to line up the Y with the here, I'm going to pull it toward me. I'm going to hit the Y on top of the happy part of my head. So I have that lined up. I'm going to stick this back into the corner, secure it with my magnet. Then I'm going to pick up the birthday. I'm going to readjust to make sure everything is in the corner. Now this is directly on top of the happy. I don't want to step it. I don't want to stamp it on top of the happy. So instead, I'm going to pick up my plate again and move it down one notch. And now I'm going to ink up with Night of Navy, which is my darkest blue ink. So now I'm going to ink up the birthday image. Swing that over. Rub that really well. Pick that up. Now that's a bit splotchy. Not a problem. Because of Stamparatus, I can ink it again and again and again, however many times that I need to, to get the image that I want. So no wasted paper. So I've inked that up. I'm going to rub, rub, rub. And I, does it look like there's something? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and clean my stamps. It looks like I have something, a little schmutz there on my on my stamp. So I'm going to clean it before I ink it again. Maybe there's just a little piece of fuzz or something stuck to my stamp. So we'll clean that off and then I can ink it up again and hopefully this time there's no fuzz on there and I will oh, make sure that everything is back in the exact right place. Oh I got a little bit of blue on there. That's all right. And bring it over. Rub again. That's nice. That looks almost black. Okay, so then after that, uh, for my card, I took the um, scallop contours dies. I took this one and I just lined that up and cut it out to place on my card. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you this is what. This is the process of the step stamping, and then I cut it out to place it on my card. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on hinge step stamping. Again, it's one that I've used in the past, um, but I think it's worth visiting uh, once in a while to remind us um, how great the Stamparatus tool is. Um, you don't have to always um, stamp in a vertical um, orientation either. I did want to share another sample where I use the hinge step stamping technique. This time I still put it in this way. Um, uh, so I, I guess I still kind of did it vertical, but you could have placed it this way and you could use the, the plate on the top part and move it in that direction too. It doesn't matter which way you want to um, stamp. It's whatever way is comfortable for you. I'm right-handed and so I tend to like to use the um, plate always on the right to swing. Um, if you happen to be left-handed though, not a problem. You can simply um, rotate the Stamparatus and use your left hand. It can work either way. So again, I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful on the hinge step stamping technique. It's a great one. It makes some really fun cards. Um, these are two of my samples that I have, but you can use them with any stamp image, any um, uh, sentiment, any any shape, anything that you would like. Uh, this, the hinge step stamping works in a wide variety. So I hope you learned something new and that you will get out your Stamparatus if you haven't for a while and give this a try. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.